It feels like we've had this talk before. I know. And the reason is, is because we have, I believe, on more than one occasion. But the timing is right to have a little bit of a fan intervention, a fan reality check here. You're watching Raw this week, and you've got the crowd chanting for CM Punk. CM Punk. It has been over five years now, and there are five particular reasons why the CM Punk chants need to stop. Not later, now. Number one. Do we forget that CM Punk quit the WWE? He picked up his ball and went home. Whatever you want to say. He left of his own volition. His own choice. You're chanting at WWE the name of a guy who chose to leave, regardless of the situation or circumstance, regardless of any of that, is just an exercise in futility. Whatever anger or ill will you still carry after all of this time is misguided. Stop wasting your energy on something that CM Punk ultimately chose to do. If it would have been one thing, if the WWE would have fired him. It'd have been one thing if the WWE totally and completely had put the screws to him and buried him. They did stupid things with him from a creative standpoint the last couple of years, absolutely. But to say that a guy like him got buried would also be incredibly foolish. He left. Accept that. Number two, it has been over five years. Years now, your gimmick has worn out its welcome big time. The shtick sucks. The shtick is not over. It is foolish. All this chanting for him over the years has done what? <laughs> Bubkiss, nothing. So why continue to persist down the same path with the same behavior to get the same result? If anything, we would define that as insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, yet being surprised that the result is not any different. I just don't get it. What is it with everyone? Like, it's been over five years now. If he ever comes back, he comes back. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. Accept it. Move the hell on with your life, because I can certainly assure you, Philip Brooks, Mr. CM Punk himself, most certainly has. Number three, number three, why put forth so much energy to somebody that doesn't care and doesn't care about you? This is not to be smirch, CM Punk. He doesn't have to care about you. If he doesn't want to care about you, that is on him, and that is fine. But you continue to invest so much energy at random shows at random times into a guy that has been gone for over five years now. Into a guy who clearly has no urgent need or desire to want to be a professional wrestler. Why would you continue to sink your energies into somebody like that? Why not sink your energy and your passion into somebody that is there or somebody that does want to be there? Somebody that that chanting could actually potentially benefit. I don't get it. Which leads me to number four. Instead of chanting for the guy who's not there and is not going to be there, if you don't like something that's happening with what you're watching live, then chant for somebody you do like. Try to make it productive at least. If you're going to troll, at least troll with a purpose. Not troll to be an idiot. Troll them by chanting for a wrestler that you like, male or female. Chant for a show that you like. Chant for if you really want to go that way and you really want to stick it to WWE, 
then chant for AEW or chant for New Japan or chant for somebody else. You get the point here? At least try to make it somewhat productive. Chanting for CM Punk does none of that. And if you want to say that the CM Punk chant has become the modern boring chant, then go back to the boring chant. The CM Punk chant just gets spun on television or gets completely ignored. It is unproductive. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why people would focus so much energy when they're at a show that they have paid money to see for somebody who is not there, instead of trying to utilize that energy perhaps positively for somebody that is. For example, if you are huge on Ricochet and you see a crappy match, chant for freaking Ricochet. If you're big on Kevin Owens, chant for Kevin Owens. If you have somebody that you're big on like a Big E or a Braun Strowman or any other names, AJ Styles, whoever it be, if you're big on them and CM Punk's not there and what you see is boring and breaks off of you, then chant for them. This is not a hard concept, people. It is a vastly more productive concept, people. Which leads me to number five. And perhaps the most important thing of all that you would think after so many years, fans would have smartened up to. But we're dealing with fans, so what the hell would they know? The WWE doesn't care about your reaction. They just care that they're getting one. You could compare the WWE in a lot of ways to internet trolls. If you react, you give them what they want. They don't care what the reaction is. They just like the fact that they get a reaction. It is that reaction that gives them purpose. It is that reaction that gives them relevancy. And as a result... By you feeding into that, whether it is you thinking it's a good thing or a bad thing, doesn't matter, you're still giving them a reaction. It's like years ago when I heard somebody on here talking about to protest John Cena, turn your backs on the match when he's out there. That's one of the dumbest ass ideas I've ever heard because number one, you've already paid your money to go to the show, so <laughs> what exactly message did you send? Number two, even by turning your backs on the match and not watching it, you were still giving a reaction. You're still giving a reaction. And as long as you give a reaction, the WWE can spin it or censor it and act on it. Do something with it. You're feeding into it. It's like the KKK. Every time those fucking racist clowns come to a town and they're gonna have a rally on the courthouse steps or somewhere, the best course of action is to completely ignore them. They are modern trolls. And by reacting to them and feeding into their crap, you're only helping to strengthen them. But of course, because people are too stupid to realize this, they will do counter protests and they will get into fights with them. Blah, 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 blah. You want them to go away, ignore them. Go on with your regular everyday lives, pretend like they don't exist, and they will cease to have any relevancy. This is not a hard concept to grasp. If you're going to react in a way like this, you are still reacting. WWE does not care, and after five plus years, you would think you have learned that lesson by now. They are attention whores. They are, more specifically, reaction whores. And if you're pumping out this CM Punk chant loud and proud, they like it. They feel this comes across well on television because at least the crowd is invested in what's going on. If you really truly wanted to send a message and you're going to insist on not, not chanting for another show or another brand or another wrestler and using your energies positively there, then if you don't like something WWE does and you're there live in person, you know what you do? Nothing. Give them Crickets. Don't even give them the honor of a sound that could be mistaken for a cricket. Do not react. Do not react to a bump. Do not react to a spot. Do not react to a false finish. Do not react to the finish. React to nothing. If you don't want the company to keep giving you the same type of crap, the absolute best way to send a message, the biggest message of all being, 
not going to the live event, not watching on television or your stream, the best way to react is to not react at all. Because reality check, you guys have been chanting for CM Punk for five and a half flipping years, and what has that accomplished? So you would think, rationally, you would take a step back and say, hmm, this strategy, not working. Maybe do something different. At this point in time, I don't care what you do, but after five and a half years, it hasn't worked. It's foolishness. It's madness. It is clearly the definition, in def definition of insanity. Stop chanting for CM Punk! 